absolutely feel that customers' expectations have changed today. The service equation is always controlled by the customer. It's very important for companies today to get close to these new kinds of consumers. These consumers tend to be savvy with technology and have high expectations and they're talking to each other. Now it's customers that in a sense are driving the agenda, determining where companies need to go in the world of customer care. This high maintenance consumer is also characterized today by Generation Y. They're younger children of the baby boomers that are very savvy in using technology on the internet and with mobile devices. All of them want their issues solved quickly and effectively. They're going to be leading the charge going forward and setting new standards of customer service as they demand new levels of a customer experience. Consumer buying habits have changed radically, let's say, in the last five years. Consumers now have access and ways to get into services and products that beforehand just weren't there. Take, for example, web, chat, email even, and of course, voice. Most customers would rather be on an automated service to be able to take care of it quickly and efficiently. When they're not able to do it for any reason, that's when they engage an agent. And that's why it's so critical to be able to capture where that customer has been to reduce the level of frustration and get to that level of satisfaction the customer's really aiming for. Equipping the agents with the right skills, equipping them with the right tools to be able to address where is the customer coming from, where have they been, for that single integrated view of what customers need. So if a customer's been on web, they're also chatting, they can also have a voice connection with you. The agents should know all of that. So it's not a matter of just repeating your name and account number, it's where have you been from a multi-channel perspective in being able to address the customer's preference. Customers really want to make sure that they're treated with respect, that they're valued, and that at the end of it, the agents done their very best to satisfy their needs. Companies will also have to start thinking about offering a unified customer experience, getting as close to that customer, particularly young customers down the road, and offering them great service across channels. You want to meet the customer where and when they want to be met. Customers have come to expect more and more, and so the bar has been raised, and we are making the adjustments necessary to make sure that every customer we interact with knows how valued they are. And we do that not just by how we appreciate and how we speak to them, but it's also by making sure that when they call us, that we're there for them, that our responses are going to be extremely accurate, that they have the confidence in knowing that when they call us, they're going to get exactly what they're looking for. What we do that makes us so unique and really is a differentiator for us is that we use our business analytics tool to compile all the data we get from the different interactions that we have with customers so that if you call me on Monday but you decide to email me on Tuesday, I have a full history of that relationship and I can understand how I need to address your needs best. So regardless of the channel, we are compiling all of that data, providing our clients with that intelligence to make business decisions that will improve the customer experience. You have to make sure that that interaction is so phenomenal that they're gonna promote your company.